you are welcome to provide a solution given this nice exponential equation. So if it is your first time you come across my videos, please like and subscribe to this channel. Now solution from here, we have x to power 6, this is equal to 7 to power 6. So let's take 7 to power 6 on the left hand side so that we'll have x to power 6 subtract 7 to power 6, this is equal to, to 0. <clears throat> we can express x to power 6 as x to power 3 squared subtract 7 to power 3 squared, this is equal to, to 0. Now actually this is in the form of a to power 2 subtract b to power 2, which is the difference of two squares which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. Now, in this case, a is equal to x to the power 3, and b is equal to 7 to the power 3. So that implies that a plus b, this is equal to x cubed plus 7 to the power 3, this is equal to, to 0. Let's call this equation 1. A minus B, in this case, this is x to the power 3, subtract 7 to the power 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start to solve case 1 here. Let's solve case 1 here, which is x to the power 3 plus 7 to the power 3, this is equal to, to 0. Now, you find this is the sum of 2. Cubes express as a to power 3 plus b to power 3, which you can express as a plus b. a squared minus ab plus b squared. So applying this identity, x to power 3 plus 7 to power 3, this can be expressed as x plus 7, x squared minus 7x plus 49, this is equal to, to 0. The next step here, the next step here, we have two parts. The first part here, this is x plus 7, this is equal to 0. The second part here is x to the power 2, subtract 7x plus 49, this is equal to, to 0. So in this case, x1 here, this is equal to negative 7. Then the second part here is a quadratic equation, which is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to, to 0. So let's solve this quadratic equation as follows. So we have the first part here, which is x plus 7 is equal to 0. So that means that x1 is equal to negative 7. And the second part here, this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to, to 0. Now, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 7, and c is equal to 49. The second step here, to solve for the value of x2, x3, we can apply the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all this divided by 2 times 2 times a. The next step here, the next step here, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So in this case, we'll have negative, negative, 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 7, squared, subtract 4, times 1, times c, which is 49, all this divided by 2, times 1. The second step here, negative times negative 7, this is actually equal to 7, plus or minus the square root of negative 7 squared, this is actually equal to 49. Subtract, now we have 49 times 4, this is 9 times 4, which is actually equal to 36, 6 carry 3. Then we have 4 times 4, which is 16 plus 3, this is 196. So all this divided by 2 times 1. So the second step here, let's see 49, subtract, subtract 196. 
So we'll have 7 plus or minus the square root of, this is actually equal to negative 147. Okay? So this divided by 2. The second step here, we have 7 plus or minus. We can express the square root of negative 147 as 49 times 3 times negative 1. All this divided by 2. So here we have 7 plus or minus the square root of 49. This is actually equal to 7. The square root of negative 1, this is i. Then square root of 3. All this divided by, by 2. So in this case, here we'll have 7 plus or minus 7i square root of 3 divided by 2. So in this case, we have x2 equal to 7 plus 7i square root of 3 divided by 2. And x3 in this case is equal to 7 subtract 7i square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are the two complex roots in case 1. So let's solve for case 2 as follows. So for case 2 here, we have x to power 3 minus 7 to power 3, which is in the form of a cubed minus b cubed, the difference of two cubes, which you can express as a minus b, a squared, okay, plus a b plus b squared. Now, the next step here, we'll have x subtract 7, x squared plus 7x plus 49, this is equal to, to 0. So in this case, we have two parts here. The first part is x minus 7, this is equal to 0. The second part here, we have x to power 2 plus 7x plus 49, this is equal to, to 0. So that means that x4 here is equal to, to 7. And the second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0, so that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to 49. So now so for x5 and x6, we apply the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all this divided by 2 times a. So in this case, we'll have negative 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is 49. All this divided by 2 times 1. So the second phase here, we have negative 7 plus or minus 7 squared, this is 49. Subtract 4 times 49, which is 196. All this divided by 2. Now, here we have negative 7 plus or minus 49 minus 196. This is actually equal to negative 147. All this divided by 2. So here, we'll have negative 7 plus or minus. We can express the square root of negative 147 as 49 times 3 times negative 1. All this divided by 2. So here, we'll have negative 7 plus or minus. The square root of 49, this is 7. The square root of negative 1, this is i. Then square root of 3 divided by 2. So that implies that x5 is equal to negative 7 plus 7i square root of 3 divided by 2. We have x6, this is equal to negative 7, subtract 7i square root of 3 divided by 2. So this is x5 and x6. So we have six solutions to our problem. We have six solutions to our problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe.